Welcome to tutorial 2 of how to use Mendeley. In this tutorial I'll be focusing on three things. Uh, the first is using the reader um, and how to uh, annotate the document, highlight and those sorts of things uh, within that environment. Uh, I'll then have a look at uh, some of the neat features uh, of Mendeley, um, which are I suppose the little quirks which uh, are the icing on the cake of the program. Um, and then have a look online. So, if we have a look at the reader first, um, you'll notice that on the front page here we have a number of uh, different areas. So the first one here is you can uh, highlight, uh, say, a particularly important article that's in your data set uh, so that you can find that later. Um, or you also have them marked as red uh, areas here. Uh, the author, the title, the year, etc. You can also change this layout uh, so that it's in APA format or, or whatever format you have. Uh, but importantly, you'll notice here uh, is the file attachment section. And you'll notice that in this section here is uh, a button in which you can press to open the file. So let's do that now. And what you can see is the article comes up uh, like it would in uh, any PDF reader. Um, I think the reader is quite useful. Uh, I'll, I'll note that uh, while I think it's better than, say, Adobe Reader, for instance, uh, it does have some limitations uh, when compared to some of the um, open source software like Foxit or some of the others. Uh, nevertheless, um, I think it's quite a good quality reader and it's, it's nice to be able to uh, swing back and forth between uh, the tab in which your uh, database is used and collected. Um, so you'll notice that across here you have uh, a lot of uh, fairly I suppose, self-explanatory buttons in the way that you would um, use uh, within Adobe Reader again. I think uh, they're somewhat simpler again, but nevertheless, um, you'll notice that the full screen is here, the zoom in, zoom out, and the rotates for those long tables that you also f you often find in journal articles. Um, uh, the main thing that you are probably using is uh, selecting text. Um, and you can do this by either selecting text or selecting rectangle. Uh, now often selecting text will be the default. Uh, selecting rectangle will happen uh, in low quality PDFs in which that it's difficult to um, make out what the letters are or the computer program has difficulty uh, doing that. Um, note that when you select using a rectangle and copy it and then paste it into Word or something else, uh, it will paste as a picture rather than as uh, letters that you can then manipulate. Uh, but in any case, the selecting text works the same as it would in anything, uh, any other reader. Um, again, the highlighting text. Uh, if we use the highlighting uh, text, which is the default for high quality PDFs, you notice that uh, it again works in similar ways than what would work uh, for any other PDF reader. Uh, I suppose the advantages uh, it come over Adobe Reader it using some of these uh, new tabs like uh, adding a note here for instance or anything else. Again this is kind of PDF like. Um, you can then move that around. Um, the other benefit, I suppose, is coming over here. You can check the details, go to the URL, uh, check the document identification number if it's available. Uh, but you can also write notes. <clears throat> From here, I suppose we'll have a look at the next section, which is uh, some of the, the fun features of Mendeley. Most useful, of course, are the search functions. Um, there are three major search functions. The first and most obvious one is the, the search box up here. Uh, and we can look up, uh, for instance, um, something with uh, a statistical software here, M+. This will highlight uh, M+, in any of the citations. If you are re in the reader, um, this will highlight it in, uh, so for instance we're looking at plier, uh, this will highlight um, any instances of plier which you can then flick between in the PDF reader. Uh, so this is an all-purpose search tool for both uh, the catalogue um, and also for the PDF reader. Um, always remember to clear 
uh, before doing any additional searches or you might find that an article that you know is there is not actually there. Um, so let's click and move on to the next uh, search um, opportunity and this is to use this search engine here. Uh, currently I've got it filtered by author uh, so for instance we can pull up uh, any article by Philip Ackerman uh, and his name comes up here. Uh, we can also filter by author's keywords, uh, tags or by publication so Journal of Education Psychology or whatnot. Uh, you'll note that I mentioned in the previous tutorial the importance of adding uh, tags when you're um, manually entering citation information or, or even when you're going through and checking your settings. Um, this is the reason why it's important to be able to use these uh, uh, tag keywords. Uh, I often use author. Uh, one of the things you'll note is that um, often because uh, Mendeley is reading in uh, the information from the PDF for you, uh, the way people uh, have their name can change over time and so why I've got uh, Philip Ackerman here, I also have him here and here um, and so you know when you have the time on your hands it's often useful uh, to go uh, into these sections and just make sure that the, uh, the language is the same uh, for authors so you don't have to search between uh, four different versions of uh, Philip, Philip Ackerman for instance. Um, so that's one of the features which I quite like is the, the three system uh, way of searching uh, for things. Uh, the final one that I should mention is is these tabs at the top so I mentioned before that you can uh, search by uh, starred items, so you see I've only got two here that are starred. You can search by read, uh, so here's some of the ones that I've, I've read uh, in detail. Uh, you can also search by ones with or without a PDF for instance. Again author search, title search, year, um, the publication uh, and one of the ones that I, I probably use more than any other is the added, uh, so these are the first ones um, and here's my newest one that I've just uh, downloaded. So uh, that is the search function structure I think is useful. The last one before moving to the online component um, is I'd like to point out this new button here which will actually get us to the online uh, which is quite nice but it's a nice way of uh, so say uh, I'd like to know uh, what other articles Hadley Wickham has written or um, who has cited this article. I can view the catalogue entry for this paper uh, which takes me to the Mendeley website and you'll notice that uh, a lot of information is here so the abstract, uh, related research, um, lots of papers here, um, the citation so you can have it in APA, you can have it in BibTech what it would look like, what we're looking at MLA, all those sorts of things. Uh, so that's quite useful. Um, useful when you're on the run and you just need to to grab the reference to put into something. Um, but this one I, th I suppose is the most useful is to um, these sections here. So you can have available from. So if there's a way of downloading the article, a um, a internet address will pop up here that you can click on. Alternatively you can use the find paper at and use one of these uh, search engines here. Um, of course I often use Google Scholar. You can see the article comes up and you can see if it's been cited by it. Um, but while we're here, so let's flick back to Mendeley. you notice uh, that if you go to Mendeley.com uh, which is where you would have downloaded the Mendeley software, you can also start an account. Um, so you see here I've signed myself in as Philip Parker, an inbox here for messages from friends, uh, quick links to uh, my profile, account details, all of those sorts of things, uh, and billing details if you choose to um, host your articles online. Um, the other buttons that I often use, so invite colleagues, um, so in this case I use this uh, for reading groups that I have. Uh, statistics uh, is useful and we'll have a look here. 
um, basically this allows you to look at what things are popular within your field and within fields in general. So you'll notice that for me, psychology is what I'm most interested in, and uh, the famous or infamous uh, Baron and Kenny uh, moderator mediator variable is the most uh, read within the Mendeley system. If we go back to the dashboard, after I've signed myself in, um, you can see that uh, there's lots of things that are available. One of the ones that are particularly useful for people who are travelling is the ability to access your library online. Uh, so you notice that it takes uh, some time, but nevertheless, your library is here. So all of the search engines again are, are here that you could use. So in this case, we'll filter by author again. Um, again, it's a little bit slower than obviously it would be on your desktop, um, but if you're uh, out somewhere and you need to get access to one emails that you have, this is where you'll find them. Now note that uh, there's a size limit on what you can host on the online site here, and as such, uh, it's often a case that you won't be able to um, upload your articles. Um, if you have a lot of them. So in my case, I've got lots of them, so I can't actually read the articles online itself. Um, so my entire space is taken up just by my library citations. Uh, still, it's useful for adding notes or editing document details. All is there. Um, and if I'm lucky, I might be able to get the article online if I really, really need it. Um, if we move from there, to groups, you notice that uh, you have an ability to be able to create your own group. Uh, so this is useful for reading groups. Um, I also use it uh, as a lecturer um, to be able to have a place where I can put the readings for the class up online. Um, and there's also an ability to have a bit of a discussion there as well. Um, it's not exactly a forum, but still uh, comments can be made and left and things can be shared within this system. Uh, so the create your own groups is relatively simple. Um, the important things, I suppose, is, is to click on whether it's private um, and then you have to invite colleagues. Otherwise, it can be um, open or invite only. Um, and this is for only sharing the reference information. So I notice that I have a few ones. Uh, here's a course that I'm currently teaching. Contemporary issues in educational psychology. You can notice that I've got a little comments here so they can come to this group to get their lecture slides and class outlines. Uh, they can also find uh, the readings. You'll notice we have some readings here. Um, the class hasn't started yet, so there's no members, but hopefully soon there'll be some members here. Um, and so we can talk to each other uh, and email and whatnot. Uh, so, I think they're the major features of Mendeley in terms of online and then some of the um, the sweetness. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll take you through uh, how to use Mendeley uh, to create a reference list within Word um, and then also just have a quick brief note uh, on how to use Mendeley if you're using LaTeX. So, I'll see you at the next tutorial.